Take those much? All right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Every every time Crying you bad. don't satisfy me as a lover. Every time. That's what happens. Did you establish that they live together? Uh, John Chadwell and Pat Brennan live together, for anyone who did not know that from our last blog. Um, all right. This is going to be the last question before we go to our part one break. And it is... There are a few things that I love more than a good Ray O'Brien get-rich-quick scheme. Have you had any good ones recently? And I don't have a name on this. I think it's from my friend Eric. So I will check on that And uh, while we're talking. But uh, let's discuss. Anyone have any uh, good get-rich-quick schemes? I recently actually came up with one. I was uh, with, coincidentally, Luke Iverson sitting to my left and John Chadwell sitting to my right. Mm -hmm. um, I was coming back, and I have a tendency... Uh, after I've been out for a while and I've had a good few drinks, to get creative in the kitchen mm -hmm. and just start cooking things. And I, I take ordinary items. I'm not a good cook to begin with, but I seem to be much more creative and actually come up with pretty good dishes after I've had a few. So I was thinking of specifically creating a near a major college campus, a shop or a sort of cart. It would actually probably work best if there were a couple yeah. carts that were portable to go towards house parties and sell food in even denominations of one dollar two dollar three dollars etc to college students and i really think we could make a pretty decent roll bank roll you could do for if you had a deep fryer on that thing you could oh, put yeah. whatever the hell you want in there i could be like oh man here's a solo cup and it's deep fried i mm. bet i could get three bucks for that because that is the biggest problem when you're in college you go out to party like you can plan the logistics you can plan who's got the booze and who's getting you there once you're there you might even have a way home, but no one's getting you to food. Yeah. Don't have food in your dorm. And further, yeah. I think it would be a public service. Yeah. Because I'm convincing <laughs> those young students to not get in cars and go drive somewhere to food, but instead I will walk to them with my wonder little cart, Pat's and I will cart, feed them. That cart will save lives. That's true. You have no clue how many people I had to drive to uh white castle yeah. or various places in order to convince them to not drive themselves even though i didn't want to go yeah but if they had if they had food coming to them i'm sure they would have not even had the temptation i'll yeah. tell you what as a you know i can personally vouch that my drunk palate was sufficiently sufficiently pleased uh at least one occasion possibly two with a with a delicious uh what would you what would you call it? pizza quesadilla? That's yeah, the only it was thing I can explain. Pizza quesadilla. pizza quesadilla is the only thing I can explain. Uh, I think it's the, yeah. I know that some colleges do it. I think definitely around Xavier, maybe not in the cold, but uh, it could make a pretty penny. And yeah, you're doing a service, a tax write off or something. I don't know. And I will vouch for the fact that even sober, because Pat often comes home drunk, <laughs> he <laughs> makes these things. When he recreates them the next day, they're usually not too bad. We still like have them as in a kind of normal meal time. Yeah, I, I will forth this that Pat's drunk food, he can make a chicken, like, casserole. cheese stuffed really burrito thing that yeah. will make the angels yeah. weep. It is excellent. I'm mildly insulted I've never had any of Pat's drunk food now. Uh, Everyone here is raving about it. Yeah, I'm drinking with me tonight and I'll make you something. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Nice. <laughs> Um, I was actually skeptical about taking this one because I didn't want to step on. I'm sure in an upcoming post, I have tons of get rich quick, rich quick schemes that I think of all the time, and I'm sure I got a blog coming out somewhere in the near future that's going to discuss some of them. But there were a couple that I've had within the last two or three days. Mm -hmm. The first is I've been eating out recently at restaurants where there is a tremendous amount of weight. You go to a restaurant, they hand you one of those little buzzer, coasters yeah. with the buzzer, yeah. and they tell you, oh, it'll be 25 minutes, it'll be 45 minutes, whatever. Some people are just like, fuck this noise, t hand it back in and leave. But I usually wait around, because if I've gone somewhere, I usually want to be there. Yeah. But I'm still skeptical while I'm waiting of how long it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And I went to one, I was with uh, Andrew Smith, your former RA, oh, yeah. John Chadwell's former RA, at the uh, Olive Garden last night, and they had a little... Um, thing in it that uh a little analog thing that was like hey welcome to the Oliver or whatever and if they can do that in the coaster buzzer i want to know why they can't like update it from their computer to let you know your pecking order so when they hand it to you you can say like 12 like you were the 12th table in line and then it counts down yeah. as you go yeah. i and i was looking for this to make sure it hadn't already been invented it has not 
I would well, like a coaster that tells me where I am in the line on the list of people to be seated. Well, building off that idea, I think that, yeah, you could definitely put the counter on there and move it to the corner. But if there's some sufficient room in this thing for electronics, why don't you put one of like those really old handheld games, you know, just have yeah, like the like up, down, arrow, like one button. <laughs> like, let's yeah. for people can entertain themselves. Or if you want to you know, t take it back a bit, a little Here, like kid, Amish up. days where it's just like... A little metal ball and you roll it around a maze, don't fall in the hole. Do one of those things. This is full service now. This is turning less into a coaster and more into an iPod and a li or an <laughs> iPad. I like, like it. The beard ones with like, you have to make the beard on the person. Wooly Wooly. Yeah, yeah. Wooly Wooly. Yeah. Even like Hangman. Hangman, etch a sket. There's so many things that would this make is, that I weight like bearable. This. I was just thinking of it as practicality. I wasn't even thinking of it as how you could entertain people while waiting. But, oh, absolutely. But, absolutely. but yeah. yeah. But in addition to like the, the lure of like, oh, I can watch myself getting closer and closer, it's also, now my kid. yeah, like my kids aren't complaining and I know yeah. I'm getting closer. I'm not going anywhere else. I'm staying here. The only downside is if they're like, oh, it's buzzing. I think I got a high score. And they don't tell you. Uh, <laughs> see, and you thought the only cool thing about this was that it you know, like vibrates at the end. But there's more to that. Yeah, there's yeah, more than that. It's more. We have more than that. No, you can do like little like little Twitter messages, like 140 characters. Send them to the different yeah. other people that have them. Like, well, it's it's like time. You, you sign in, it automatically updates your Foursquare. Like, raise at the, the Olive Garden. Sell advertising. If it, you know, you've got like a running ticker, sell advertising to pay for it, you know? Ooh. Send out 100, 160 characters to a nearby grocery store or whatever. All right. I know everyone's being real positive right now. This is just something that jumped in my mind. I do want to complain, because I thought there too, that every time I Rick, Rick Get Rich Quick scheme or something like that comes up, everyone's always like, put advertising on something else. <laughs> this is a terrifying trend in our society. Like, I remember when I, when I used to ride buses, and there were just little signs near the top that now you go on a bus, there are certain places where there are ads on the ceiling on the bus, the entire bus is painted to look like something, everyone's trying to come up with a way out. Pretty soon your bus like passes, they sometimes have ads on them. I was advertising major, and basically that's what it's come to now, because since we've got TiVo, the regular commercial advertisement is dying, and we need to find a way to replace it. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, and just technology in general has just removed so much. That actually is going to lead me into my other Get Rich Quick scheme, Go ahead. which is with the, the uh, boob, baby boomers getting older, um, I'm now, I want to start a company that uh, has what I like to call nostalgia services, which are all of the jobs that have been like cut out by technology. Mm -hmm. We're going to reintroduce these jobs and market them strictly to old people who still want them. We're just going to set up shop near, like, homes, and we're going to, like, have a milkman delivery service Ooh, and a tonsorial yeah. shavery and maybe even going way back to, like, the 1800s, have, like, a town crier. <laughs> so, and the best thing about this idea is that as we move further and further on, there are more things that we'll need to be nostalgic about. Like, VCR Repairman probably just recently hit the list because, <laughs> yeah. let's face it, I'm going to put up some pictures of, of a milkman here. That is not a milkman. That's a man with milk. <laughs> There's a milkman. <laughs> Apple II programmers. The tonsorial shave Apple II programmers. The town crier. Mm. We, uh... I'd like to point out the, the whole the tonsorial shave. You're just talking about straight razor shaves, Yeah. Right? They're, they still exist. They still exist, I but they're... I we were talking about, like, tonsils. Like, people that shaved your tonsils. Oh, no. You don't I have hairy like... tonsils? I'm, I was very I just, confused. I Let... Yeah. I that one. Let me tell you, tonsorial yeah. shaves are hard as hell to find. I've tried. Uh... Well, maybe it's just a matter of city. I, I will speak highly. There are a couple places in Chicago sure. that give you a pretty damn good one. I get them when I'm in town. See, if you mention well. their name now, you could probably get a discount because that's advertising. That okay, uh, Betty's and Nick's. Uh, I'd like to just give you a shout-out. I'll come by one of your uh, places. Um, and if you won't mind, I'd also like to mention Pierre's. Pierre's, you also do a very good shave. Thanks, Pierre. Pierre's ice cream? Uh, no, Pierre. It's Actually, it's interesting. Uh, he's a guy who used to work at Betty's and Nick's who started his own place. Oh. With the advertising trend, I actually, in order to make extra money, I'm going to have my town crier just cry out advertisements. <laughs> Sale at the Verizon store! <laughs> There's more Buy five there. phones, get a sixth one free! I'm seeing more and more of those people that stand on the corners of the intersections. Mm -hmm. Have you been seeing more of these people? Oh, they're yeah! They're just like stand, and they're Especially holding up the holidays, signs and things yeah. like that. Or, the, or that place. poor Statue of Liberty. There's a Statue of Liberty over there, I was going to say. Well, I just want to point out, I, I, I drove by that guy, that's a different person like every other day. I know, I, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, the suicide rate amongst that, oh. that 
group of people is pretty tired. Yeah. Unless you're a sign spinner. They seem to have a pretty damn good time. They are really good at that. I yeah. like the people that dance. Ooh, yeah. Like if I did it and I had to do it for a day, I'd like sell it for the first hour before I wanted thought of ways, creative ways to kill myself or get hit by a car. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it, the very first like I can do this. I can be a great statue of liberty. It'll be yeah. a blast. People will be honking. Yeah, I think it probably about an hour, hour and a half tops, <laughs> and then it's like, you know, if I timed it right, I can probably get in front of that bus before the driver can hit the brakes. You know, like <sighs> that's got to be a reality for those people. Nothing says Statue of Liberty like jumping in front of the bus, like freedom. Yeah. Hey, Do yeah. they lead with the torch <laughs> hand or the book hand? That's the question. Lead with the face if you want to finish the job. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, expose the, back the crowd back. actually jams the tires and like the bus stops and you you, you live. With the spokes on it. Wow, that's one way to get rich quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're it's, suing oh, the bus insurance company. Fraud, <laughs> insurance fraud. That's what's next. All right. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be back for part two. And uh, stick around.